Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bullish trap or is it bullish trend what's going on with the stock market today let's do review together let's move to to Vbull uh, looks like it's a mixed day right around the world some yeah some uh, some some places red, some places green. Dow Jones negative one one point one percent. S and P just negative dot twenty. And Nasdaq almost flat plus dot fourteen percent. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's let's do review and then see what's going on with it. It's the first day after the long weekend. Happy Tuesday. If you want to learn more about Vbull style, Vbull setup, just go to the description and there is the link about Vbull setup. And now let me show you quickly about the setup. There is also other links about all my trainings. Okay, let's start it. Let's start it from... I'm using moving averages. Let me briefly mention here is the line with the all colors of my moving averages in case you want to uh, check uh, the white line it's MA200, purple line it's MA100, blue line it's MA50, yellow line it's MA20, red line it's MA10 and green line it's MA5. MACD indicator, red is the signal line, green is the MACD line, RSI has the same setup and also oscillator Red is bearish, green is bullish. Okay, let's start it. Let's start it for daily. Let's start for, as usually for US dollar. US dollar daily. US dollar daily. Let's let's see what we have. Let me. Okay, it's a, it's a green day for dollar daily. We still on a MACD, still in a bearish state. MACD is still in a bearish direction. The last bar, it was kind of, yeah, it closed above my 5, but no changes in my 5 didn't do any crossover. Still bearish trend on the, uh, on the, on the bars, but we have bearish divergences, right? We have bullish divergences, I'm sorry. The price action, uh, let me, Show you the price action is it's still downtrend. It's still downtrend. MACD is uptrend. RSI uptrend. Also oscillator uptrend, right? Dollar wants to move up. It wants to change direction to go up. Uh, MA200 still uptrend, it's good, it's a bullish, but MA50 and 20 downtrend. Let's move to 4 hours for dollar, for US dollar. On 4 hours it's already, yeah, it's already did bearish, bullish crossover. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20. And last bar close above MA20, it's a bullish. MACD bullish, RSI bullish, also was later bullish. Still below... Uh, MA50 to 100 and 200, 200 downtrend, but it changed in direction to bullish on 4 hours. Let's move to uh, 1 hour. 1 hour, it's a bullish, MACD it's a bullish, RSI bullish trend, are also a little red, it's a bearish. And MA5, the last bar close above MA50, 10, 20 and 5. And it's kind of, yeah, it's a bullish still bullish dollar wants to go bullish and it's uh, bearish for indexes let's move to apple apple daily apple daily ma5 did bullish crossover over 10 over 20 it's a bullish uh, macd bullish rsi bullish crossover osmos letter bullish right Apple on daily has bullish trend, bullish trend. 
let check for hours and let me repeat and for the uh for the swing trading we are using four hours and daily time frame for the intraday trading we are using five minutes 15 minutes and one hour and the, the hour style we like when it, all indicators align in the same direction for us it's a 99 confirmation and uh that that's kind of all and let's let's move to four hours for apple four hours for apple similar it's a bullish trend daily bullish and four hours bullish also last bar close above ma 5 10 20 and 50. ma 5 did bullish crossover over 50. it's a bullish trend bullish trend let's see magdi MACD bullish trend, RSI bullish trend, also most later bullish. Bullish trend for Apple on 4 hours and daily. Let's see. 1 hour. 1 hour, it's also bullish. It's a, and the last bar close above all moving averages. That's great. MA200 still kind of downtrend. It's a bearish. But MA20 ready for bullish crossover. It's a bullish. I like when my MA20 i made power remember the power of my 20 and 200 when my 20 does bullish crossover it's a bullish trend look at it in macd macd has bearish divergences the price action on, on price action on on apple is uptrend right on the on macd it's a downtrend on rsi it's a downtrend on osmos later it's a downtrend looks like oh yeah it has bearish divergences on one hour it wants to have bearish it wants to change direction to bearish for apple let's move to tesla tesla daily tesla daily the last yeah ma5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 2, 20 last bar close above may 20 bullish trend uh MACD bullish crossover, bullish trend, RSI bullish trend, also awesome later bullish. All indicators bullish on Tesla on for daily time frame. Let's move to four hours. Four hours Tesla bullish trend on MACD, RSI also awesome later. And last bar close above May 5, 10, 20, and it touched the May 50. May 200 still downtrend bullish signal on all indicators in four hours let's move to one hour for tesla one hour for tesla last bar close above all moving averages except 200 200 still downtrend other uh, moving averages uptrend that's good macd bullish bullish crossover bullish signal rsi bullish it's it's in overbought territory in 71 but RSI bullish, bullish on all indicators on one hour, and yeah, no bearish divergences, yeah, no bearish divergences. Also, also later has some small bearish divergences, but RSI and MACD no, no divergences yet. Still bullish for a Tesla on all time frames. Apple bullish on four hours and daily, one hour has bearish, also bullish on one hour, but it has bearish divergences. Sounds good. Let's move to Q's. Let's move to Q's. Uh, daily time frame for Q's. Bullish trend. Last bar close above all moving averages except 200. Bullish crossover. MA5 did bullish crossover over 50 and ready to do bullish crossover over 100. Bullish trend on MACD, on RSI, on awesome oscillator. On daily time frame, Q's and the bullish direction bullish trend and ma200 still kind of downtrend but direction bullish on all indicators on daily let's move to four hours four hours ma5 just did bullish crossover over 200 last bar close above all moving averages it's a bullish trend i like it ma5 and 10 and 20 ready for bullish crossover over I made 150, I made 100. It's a bullish signal. Bullish signal. MACD bullish. 
RSI bullish, also oscillator bullish on 4 hours also. Still bullish trend on 4 hours and daily for Qs. Let's move to 1 hour. 1 hour, uh, yeah, the price action still bullish, right? Price action still bullish on the, on the time, on the, for Qs on 1 hour. But on the, on MACD, it has bearish divergences. On the RSI, bearish divergence. On Osmo Oscillator, bearish divergence. Qs, uh, Qs, they want to change direction to bearish. They want to change, they have bearish divergence and it, it wants to have direction, it wants to change direction to bearish, but at the same time, MA50 did bullish crossover. It is bullish trend. MA20, this bullish trend, we'll see. It wants to have correction. Like MACD change correct direction to bearish. Also, also the change direction to bearish. Q's kind of, uh, yeah, it's it's changing direction. Just be ready to for Q's that Q's will change direction to bearish. Yeah, MA5 already did bearish crossover over 10, right? Yeah, it's ready for bearish. For it's ready for bearish direction on one hour. Okay, let's do let's switch to VXN. VXN volatility index for NASDAQ. Let's see if confirmation. Let's see if it has yeah. Daily it's a bearish, right? Daily bearish on all indicators for uh, for volatility index for VXN. And it's a bullish for Qs. Let's check on four hours. It's a bearish on four hours on all indicators. It's bullish for Qs on one hour. On one hour, it's already bullish. It's already bullish on MACD, bullish on bars, and bullish on RSI. Still bearish on awesome oscillator. It's a bearish for Qs. It's, yeah, there's the confirmation that Qs wants to change direction to bearish on one hour please be ready for it please be ready i don't know is it yeah is it for short term for the like just one hour it will do quick correction and 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 will move bullish or it will be larger correction we don't know yet no confirmation yet for so far it's just for one hour only correction for cues let's move to spy Spy daily, spy daily. Last bar close above uh, above all red bar, but it close above MA two hundred above all moving averages. MA five did bullish crossover over two hundred. It's a bullish trend, but yeah, we observed recently that MA five did move, did bullish crossover. After that, it was sell off. It, it did happen a couple times. Yeah, the bar was closed multiple times similar here it looks like 200 was resistant right was resistant we'll see if this time it will come back or it will be support for because now it's above ma200 and ma200 now it's a support we'll see it's still bullish still bullish on daily time frame on macd on other side also muscle later bullish change kind of average average volume but still bullish bullish trend let's check four hours four hours uh yeah the last bar is still above all moving averages still bullish still bullish on macd and still bullish on rsi and also oscillator volume volume kind of decreasing still bullish trend on four, on four hours let's check one hour one hour it's different story on one hour ma5 did bearish crossover it's a bearish signal uh, price action it's uptrend right the price action is uptrend on macd it has bearish divergence bearish signal on macd indicator rsi bearish divergence and bearish signal on rsi same on awesome oscillator 
bearish divergence and bearish signal on RSI on, on awesome oscillator. SPY on one hour has bearish signal and ready for bearish correction. Please, please, yeah, if you are bullish, put stops or just switch direction. Just take your profit and you can stay in cash for full confirmation or switch direction to bearish for the short term at least based on one hour on four hours and daily we are still spy still bullish let's move to weeks to see confirmation from the weeks we, are, we i do not trade weeks i do not trade volatility indexes but i'm using this uh, volatility index for confirmation uh, on for the direction for confirmation of the direction of each index VIX it's a volatility index for spy daily it's a bearish bearish on all indicators it's a bullish for spy right it's always opposite uh VIX for four hours it's a bearish four hours for all indicators it's a bullish for spy and for smp bullish for smp and one hour it's different for one hour it's a bullish on on moving averages bullish on MACD, bullish on rsi bearish on on uh yeah red on the on the awesome oscillator it's a bullish bullish trend on one hour it means it's a bearish for spy on one hour that's confirmation from weeks let's move to to dow jones dow jones Dow Jones, bearish day, red day, and it closed below uh, MA5. Still, yeah, yeah, average volume on daily MACD is still bullish. On RSI, RSI wants to change to bearish, but still bullish. Also, most later bullish on daily, on daily time frame, it's still. And still in bullish direction. Let's check four hours. Four hours. The last bar closed below MA5 and 10. No bearish crossover yet. Only on the moving averages. Um, MACD. Yeah, it's changing direction already. No bearish crossover yet. No confirmation yet. RSI also changing direction, no confirmation. Only confirmation on also oscillator or red color. It changing direction on four hours for Dow Jones, but still no no bull, no bearish crossover on index on on the uh, indicators yet. Let's move to one hour. For Dow Jones, for Dow, for Dow Jones, one hour, it's already bearish, right? It's already bearish since li last Friday. Uh, it did bearish crossover on the moving averages and closed below May 5, 10 and 20. And it, yeah, almost touched May 50. Let's see if May 50 will be support and it will bounce from it. MACD bearish trend, RSI bearish trend, awesome oscillator bearish trend. Bearish trend on one hour for all for all uh, uh, indicators. Dow bearish on one hour. Let's move to VXD, volatility index for Dow. Just to see confirmation. On daily time frame it's a, it's a bearish. It means bullish for Dow Jones. On four hours, volatility index for Dow also bearish. It's a bullish for Dow. Let's move to one hour. One hour for volatility index for Dow. It's it's a bullish on moving averages on on MACD on RSI. On, on also later it's red. It's confirmation on one hour. That's. It's a bullish, it means Dow, for Dow it means it's bearish. Okay, let's move to IWM, 
AWM, Russell 2000, daily time frame, bullish, last bar close above all moving averages, bullish crossover in May 5 and 10, bullish trend, bullish on all indicators, on daily time frame. Let's move to 4 hours. 4 hours, similar, bullish trend on moving averages, bullish trend on MACD, RSI and also later bullish trend. And one hour, let's check one hour. One hour, it's changing direction to bearish, right? MA5 did bearish crossover over 10. MACD bearish crossover. Also RSI bearish crossover. And also oscillator bearish. No bearish divergences for, uh, for, uh, for, for Russell 2000, but it changed direction to bearish. But we'll see. Maybe yeah, it will stop at the May 20 and May 20 will be support. We'll see if it if it's going to have bigger correction. So far it's a small correction on one hour time frame. That's all. Let's do summary. Let's do summary. Uh, for all indexes, right? Yeah, for all indexes, the trend in the uh, for Apple and Tesla also, the trend on daily. It's a clear bullish trend and bullish trend on all indicators with confirmation uh, from volatility index. It is bullish also on four hours for all indicators, bullish trend. Only change we have we see on the short time frame, on the one hour time frame, all indexes they have bearish divergences and they have bearish crossover on all indicators. It means all indexes on one hour time frame, they want to have correction. Let's monitor it because we want to have confirmation. Is it going to be large correction or it will be just small correction on one hour for the short term? As of now, it has, it's ready for correction. Today it was kind of, uh, yeah, kind of a weak day. And it's ready for correction. Let's see what, what will happen tomorrow. Will it continue to go negative? Will it continue to have some more bigger correction tomorrow? And, and even change direction to bearish on 4 hours? So far it's only on 1 hour bearish trend. If you are bullish, yeah, let's yeah, keep tight, uh, stop tight to make sure you will save your profit. Market can change direction very quickly from bullish to bearish. And remember, we still in a bearish trend on the on the on the uh, main main market direction. It's still bearish direction. Still bearish direction. We are in a bearish channel. No confirmation for uh, uh, for the bullish trend okay yeah be careful yeah just please monitor on one hour market change it could be it could be bull trap it could be bull trend we are not clear yet like i said because generally it's still bearish trend no changes market still bearish for last 12 or 13 months 12 months and it's uh, uh, still Powerful bearish trend, but on the sh on the on the daily and four hours, it has bullish trend. On one hour, it change in direction. It can quickly change direction back to bearish on all time frames. That's why I just want to notice to you to to mention to you just to make sure you're you just keep fingers on on. On the uh, on the keyboard, just to 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 switch your position quickly from bullish to bearish. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much. Let's move to to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational purposes only. Let yeah, please read it and let's move to last page. I thank you for watching simple trading style video. I do publish updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, cryptos. Please subscribe for my channels. Please click like button.
to support the channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. And thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.